All right, you are back here in the Cypher with the Potheads. It's your boy, Frank the Tank, C Money, JB Perez, yeah, the Podheads yeah. web show. Thanks for sticking with us. As you can see, it's a different format. We said bye to Zoom because we the, the Podheads decided to make a commitment and come down and do this full time. We're all here uh, for y'all, right? So stay tuned at Podheads web show all over social media. Just Google us. Uh, guys, we got a website now. Yes. You Thank can watch you. all of these episodes. If you're not, if you're watching this on YouTube, you could be watching this on our website. But either way, <laughs> we appreciate it one way or the other. But at and not at, but thepodheads.com. Not only can you see um, all of these videos plus other you know short clips and funny things we do, you can find uh, interesting blogs from all of us here on the Podheads right here. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find more pictures of things that we're going out yep. and doing, as well as uh, being able to get some merchandise. So we're working on that right now. We don't have anything available yet, but we will, thepodheads.com. Yep. Um, one step at a time, guys. Yeah. Getting legit, more one step at a time, guys. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, guys, y'all know it. Everybody knows it. Cardi B, Megan, ah. the stallion just ah. broke the internet. <laughs> And I broke my underwear, uh, speaking quite honestly. Whoa, TMI and it got here, a little guys. tighter when I saw this, when I heard the song. <laughs> I mean, I Woo. mean, the song itself yeah. was hot. And, I, you know, it brought me yeah. back. Lyrically, to like it was Kim, pretty good. Little Kim days. Mm -hmm. Like, it was hot. And, mm -hmm. I mean, there's been some pretty dirty songs out there by, sure. by plenty of artists, but this was good. Uh, anyway. The video was even even crazier, yeah. crazier as you can yeah. see. You know, um, <laughs> I mean, Cardi B looked like she was in full strip club mode. I mean, pasties, it's pretty good. The tatas all out. They, mm -hmm. I, I am celebrating. By the way, I am <laughs> loving WAP, the video, the song, the artists who make it. Uh, more keep 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 it coming, <laughs> yeah. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. And I'm not trying to sound gross when I say that. Uh, because there's a bigger issue behind this. Uh, and we've gotten mixed reactions all over social media uh, and the internet. Uh, from celebrities to politicians, mm -hmm. people are making, I think, a much bigger deal out of this than it should be. And definitely but, what she expected, that's for sure. Yeah, but, but, there's mixed, but there's mixed opinions here on the show as well, right? I mean, see money what, what do you think about it? We, we come from a, you know, a little bit of a different cultures. Um, I, I wouldn't call you conservative at all on the things, but I, I know that you tend to lean a little bit different, at least play the devil's advocate. So I want to get your opinion on, on this video. It's WAP. It's, uh, it doesn't surprise me because it's obviously what they're all about, right? It's what this girl, these girls do. Megan just got shot like a week or two ago. So I, I mean, that girl apparently wasn't that bad of a wound because she's doing all these videos and shit. So that's mind blowing to me. But yeah, I was pretty sure she got shot. Um, but I, neither here nor there. What I don't understand is <sighs> Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion and all the other chicks in the video, they can do whatever the fuck they want because that's who they are. They're super rich, famous, millionaire, badass chicks. Mm -hmm. But the everyday chicks who listen to them aren't those people so you can't i and it, it's poisoning the dating world it's poisoning single mm. girls minds it's poisoning little girls minds they think that because they all have the same sex organ and i got into it they can it, do that kind of stuff it's act amazing that way. i got into it on twitter mm. with someone i said you literally have the same exact organ between your legs some are a little tighter looser <laughs> not as stinky <laughs> wetter Wetter. Uh, Wap. But like the 40 year old virgin said, you can't put pussy on a pedestal. And I never did ever <laughs> since I saw that movie at 14 years old. And I'm happy to say that I'm not the brainwashed part of that group of men that sits here and just gets sucked into it and allows these thought ass chicks that you date in the everyday life command you with their vagina, bro. You can't, like, yeah, if Cardi B is dating me, we, we'll go wherever the fuck she wants. I'll, <laughs> I'll hold her shopping bags, whatever. It, that's cool. But fucking, you so know. So you're saying. Me, we, normal Megan from Publix? No. So you're saying. So you're saying those videos, which I think Cardi B and them meant it to be empowering. empowering. And that's even worse. So like, it's like they demand respect and they demand equality and all these other things. But I don't understand how that. Boy, how, how being half naked and shit like no one ever said and if they did that a woman's 
body wasn't something that's empowering. It's it's an incredible sight. If you have, if you don't admit that and you're a straight guy, you're lying through your fucking teeth. Look at these chicks. Sure. Okay, so. But what I'm saying is, again, like, you have a daughter. You really want your daughter growing up and idolizing Cardi B's morals and I, shit? I, I, like, I don't want my daughter uh, being a stripper. I don't want her twerking. Because right. <laughs> I understand that. But just like you said, Cardi B can do whatever yeah, the hell she yeah. wants. Well, Cardi B, let's, let's go back to that real quick. Cardi B levied a stripper's life she was a stripper and levied that into a multi-million dollar career she, she can't do that drugging guys too by the way which if i admitted and did my <laughs> very ass true. would be also, behind bars she did admit she's that she's a bad chick she, she gets did away with that. it side note that's true there's a little bit of so let's talk about that it, the hypocrisy behind this right a guy right <laughs> girls can do this uh guys can't right guys can't talk if a guy were to have a song about his big ass dick they don't? Today? Well, that's that's what I guess that's what Cardi B is saying. She's saying right. well, plenty of guys do this. Why, Why can't I? I? Exactly. And, and that's what sells. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. It, it did. It she blew the it fuck sells. up. Um, we all know that sex sells, and that's what the fans want to hear. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least their fans, mm -hmm. that's what they're buying. Mm -hmm. So if you're giving the people what they want, then I guess people shouldn't bitch. But but like I said, if if the ends justify, do the means justify the ends? If your daughter decided, you know what, well, screw it. I can be like Cardi B. I can be a stripper and then be a hot ass singer and make so. And I, make wait, for the next 18 years, I'm going to try to lead my daughter in a path that I hope <laughs> that when she turns 18, that's not her choice. But if it happened to be her choice, what really can I honestly say after I've talking years of all this? shit right sure uh yeah cardi b she's ex exactly saying that uh to your point about uh, about Are these women role models is that what i'm saying is this kind of music i guess at its core the question is is this kind of music empowering they, women they, or is it is role it role models again i have no children and my viewpoint on it too as a single guy is they're role models in the sense of hey you can do whatever the hell you want i agree feel free mm -hmm. like don't let anyone tell you you can't do something but no one in their right mind with a brain in their head can sit there and tell me that girls growing up or even single chicks out there looking for a good guy can have this mentality that oh my vagina is magic too no 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 if they look like if they look that's not what they're saying cardi b's might be because behind that vagina is this other incredible body millions of dollars in fame and all there's things that come with it your ass at your local restaurant serving and shit coming home like chicken fingers every day if a bartender who made pretty decent money a female bartender who made who made good money was doing her thing right a boss didn't need a man she looked good did her thing and she had the attitude right that she was a bad bitch and do whatever she want and could control dudes like that you you're telling me no no but we'll see those chicks are fun because i get 50 shades with it like <laughs> because that's when the domination side comes out a little more <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, but where's the line? What makes you? What, where's the cutoff? What makes you able to be do it if you're Cardi B and not able to do it if you're, you know, Michelle from, you know, Jenny from the Black? Make it till you fake it. Make it till you fake make it, it till you, you make it. it. Maybe I don't know. I'm with you, C Money. I'm with you. I believe that they are role models for being like she can do that and be successful. Then I can do anything and be successful. Does not mean yeah, that you should go be a that. stripper yeah. and expect to become Cardi B because that's not quite the yeah, truth. There's a lot. Even of though girls. I'm all for strippers, a yeah. lot of girls that are not. Okay, Cardi so B. then maybe that's <laughs> what we're, we're happening here. Some politicians are trying to to say, you know, look at these role models. You know, yeah. oh, I, I had to put oh, holy water in my my ears. Seriously, those, that's what one Republican said. Is that I accidentally heard it. Accidentally <laughs> heard it. I swear to God. They, I accidentally heard it, and I had a, put, and I put holy water they, in my right, ears. Right after they jerked off to the video. They're right, so exactly. Funny. I hate when they lie, but just tell us the truth, even if you hated Are it. You're telling me, though, that one of those old white dudes doesn't want those two chicks for mm. one night? Oh, oh come on. Come the video on. was incredible. Just those two. Uh, so hot. So hot. But, you know, uh, <clears throat> I find myself... I, I love it, to be honest with you. I find myself on the side of this revolution, if you will, of these women, of this women empowerment right now. I'm Do all about you equality. Want. I'm all about it. But again, 
understanding that yes men have made songs about their dick wait do you see my dick mm. right the yin yang yeah. twins it's uh, many dozens it's, yeah. hundreds so and, and that's okay big pimping right we know about a lot of songs that celebrate men having sex their sexual problems whatever so i don't have a problem with it what i am saying though is that these women the same thing i say about everybody freedom of speech freedom of of expression but understand that there's consequences. You are going to have religious nuts lose their shit they when lost you talk about shit. your wet ass pussy <laughs> on the fucking internet, Ooh. just the way they do, just the way they did when Eminem talked about, you know, banging his mom and, and killing, killing kids, kids and shit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So just the way the the uh, it made national news when Easy E and Ice Cube were talking about killing cops. Uh, I'm just saying, or, or Ice T was. That's so. kind of another good point too. Like it's a shame that it blends so well now uh, with social media and everything too. Like dude, there's so many more important things right now. Let them blow up to where they should blow up in the music industry. But the fact that it's spilling over now into everything else and uh, distracting, but it's po distracting politics. But it's like, my it's what? my argument that it's it's politics bringing it in, right? Even Carter B, I think, tweeted said, "I can't believe this shit is getting so much hate from the you know." because of it. it's like i made a video that yeah. i do that cardi b That's is what I'm saying don't don't be mad cardi yeah. don't, get don't get upset just enjoy Dude. all that is making you more money For every real, time right. a politician tweet tweets about having to splash holy water in his ears mm -hmm. every time <laughs> some karen oh, vlo vlogs about you know how you guys just made her teenager had you know go out there and bang a bunch of black my guys. daughter Come is on. now yeah. a whore of yeah sex. Exactly. exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. just yeah. like marilyn manson made you know those oh, kids that's why the way shit. i am I'm not gonna right. go on for eminem, eminem. Yeah. Right. eminem exactly. he blamed and eminem and come on and for columbine point, they blamed exactly them too. Like, yes and to your point uh steve money on the last thing because we do gotta run uh every time a powerful celebrity puts out a song i i find it um i find that it starts a trend it starts a trend one way or the other if whether you see a guy wearing his hat jay-z wearing his hat a certain way in a music video or somebody rocking a bandana you know snoop dogg people crip walking it starts with you know when you're a major pop culture sensation it starts a trend that we can't really control but i remember okay. what beyonce did to the left to the left you know how many people got broken <laughs> up with yes for you real. Know, boyfriends got uh, their lives ruined. Oh, <laughs> taxi waiting outside. Oh, can you pay my bills? How many that dudes one, yeah. lost their money? <laughs> when, uh, uh, so all I'm saying is it's We're going to see this yeah, now? People are going to see this. Where every woman out there is going to think that they're probably a little bit better than they are. Yep. But it, it is hey, what listen, it is. And every loser-ass guy yeah. is going to give it to them, and then they're just going to think... They have like again. If you're serving waiting there. tables, yeah. you shouldn't be dating a guy making like a hundred G's. You're not on that level. Self awareness is all I'm saying. Right. Self awareness. Right, there you go. That's Self awareness. <laughs> the potheads are here for a dose of reality. <laughs> to you, yes. I guess. Free from see money. We'll be right back. Uh, we're gonna talk. Uh, what's we going on week, in the baby? week? We can we? Yeah. Uh, it's the potheads. You. Yeah.